What's going on guys? Welcome to T3G. I am Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. And we just wanted to talk real quick about uh, Aquaman's new look. Yeah. New, newish look. New, that is kind of newer a newer look. look. Yeah, so I mean, in the Snyderverse, which, yeah. which I'm pretty sure we're still calling it. I'm sure that's um, <laughs> In the, the universe of Zack Snyder's uh, Man of Steel and coming up the uh, Dawn of Justice? D uh, yeah, Dawn of Justice. Yeah. Um... Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice. Batman v Superman, v Superman, Dawn of Justice. That's right. Um, we finally have our Aquaman image. We do because we, we knew do. Aquaman was going to be in it. We knew Jason Momoa was was uh, already Aquaman, in there. They, right. I mean, they've already shot everything is filmed. Yeah. For that movie, so what they're showing is likely very little. Yeah, they're um, probably. I mean, he's and... he. I would say Aquaman's probably going to be in it. Maybe if I, if I say ten minutes, it's probably too much. Right. Um, but they might throw in throw him in as in his suit, maybe viewing the battle from Atlantis. No, I agree. I think what we're going to see here is uh, you know maybe five minutes of Aquaman. Right. I don't think we're going to see much at all. Uh, to be honest, I think what they're doing is they're just kind of giving you hints that those people are around for the Justice League movie. So I think that's really all it is. I think people are worried a little too much on that end, on that aspect. Yeah. I can see why, because you know they are saying, "Oh, this person," but I think literally they're just showing you that they're 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 gonna be there. They're there. Yeah. Right. And, and that's all. That's all that is. But going back to the Aquaman suit, so a lot of people are like, oh, that, you know, that's not Aquaman. Some right. people are like, oh, that is Aquaman. Sure. Here's the thing. I, I enjoyed, we watched recently the uh, Throne of Tides. Tides of, Throne of Tides, right? Throne of, uh, Throne of Atlantis. Throne of Atlantis, that's right. Um, uh, which was the new animated from DC uh, for the Justice League movies. And I enjoyed that Aquaman. What I saw there, you know, sure. he was, he's a uh, half-breed, he... Uh, um, you know, he was having rough he's times. He's light skinned. That's he's, why he was. Right. He, he's light skinned. He's blonde and right. blue eyed, and that's why he's outcast. That's kind of that's the whole premise of Aquaman. Pretty much always has been. He was outcast because of his appearance, because he was blonde, blue eyed, and I think light skinned. Right. Which, um, which I, you know, like I said, I enjoy. But then again, you. You reminded me because I forgot about how Aquaman used to look with the, you know, where he didn't have the hand, he yep. had the hook instead and stuff sure. like that. And this is really very close to that. Now, granted, he does have the arm, he doesn't have the hook, which I hope they stay with that. I think the hook would be a little, a little hooky, a little corny. It'd be a little and, hokey, uh, yeah. But I mean, he's got the trident. He's got the same armor piece, like he's got the armor piece. Set, he's got the armor piece. The long he's got the... hair. Stretch across here the little band, which really reminds me of that that uh, suit, which I always attribute to either uh, Howard Porter or Calafiore. I don't actually know which one, uh, Jim Calafiore. I don't know which one uh, of them designed it, but both of them drew it around the same time right. period. Uh, but there, it, it's a really good look. It was I thought a much much needed improvement on the old Aquaman look. Um, but it, 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 that's also how a lot of kids know that look because. He had the long hair, the beard, the hook hand, even um, on the Justice League show. Right, right. Uh, now, granted, he didn't have the armor, but still, that he had that kind of long hair, bearded look, which uh, wasn't the classic look, but that's what the kind of mid '90s, like early to mid '90s to the early 2000s look was for a lot of people. A lot of people that read the comics, a lot of people that watched the shows. That was the look. So I understand why they went with that. I think it looks a little more menacing. I think it's not... Personally speaking, I don't think I could believe in reality when I saw a human being that had lived under under the ocean floor uh, of, A, being like blonde and blue-eyed. I just don't think and it would clean. make sense. And clean. And like clean cut and shaven and like all this stuff. It's just stuff that's, that's more of modern inventions. I think everyone would be bearded. I think everyone would be, if they were humanoid, I think they were they would have um, more of an unkempt appearance just because I don't think that necessarily they would have the kind of stuff that we have up here. But that's just me. Right. I mean, from what I saw in uh, in that uh, new animated release, I mean, it from what it sounds like or from what it looked like, you know, they have all this advanced technology and these capabilities. So I can actually believe that they would be well-kept and stuff like that. I don't uh, think but, they're gonna touch that because they're so afraid of of magic in this universe. Well, I mean, I don't. From what I understand, like uh, there was a rumor going around, and I don't know if they've, uh, I don't know if they've actually uh, 
officially said this, right. but from according to uh, what's going on is the trident will be able to pierce Superman's skin. Which makes which sense. Would be so which, which would make it magic. magic. Right. And he should be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, uh, punch for punch. He would probably lose on the surface, but he should definitely be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him because he lives at the bottom of the ocean, which, if you know anything about the ocean, is very, very it's a high-pressure environment. Right. So for you to be able to lift a trident and walk down the street is already an immense uh, achievement. So for you to then come to the surface with no pressure, it's, it's kind of like the, the gravity differential on, on Dragon Ball Z. Right. He's, you know, he practices in... 10x Earth gravity, so when he gets to Earth, he can fly. Right, exactly. <laughs> no, precisely. So, I mean, I, I like the look. I think it fits very well in with the universe that they've developed. Yeah, it's, uh, it, exactly. That's, that's and, the biggest and, thing. And, I mean, and here's the thing. Some people say, oh, you know, they're all about the dark universe. But you know what? I mean, everybody has their own. You know, Marvel has their lighter side of things. Sure. And DC has their darker. And I, and yeah, I enjoy both. And, and here's if the they thing. were the same, it would be boring. Absolutely. Then you're just watching a bunch of the same... Yeah. movie just different superheroes and that's just no fun right. in my opinion I mean, and I, I mean I, if you look at if you look at Batman's story you look at Kal-El's Superman story they are dark Batman lost his parents they got shot they uh, you know Kal-El's Kal entire planet, planet exploded, exploded. Like, exploded. His, his whole story starts with an explosion of his right. entire race exactly like his so species died it should be a little darker in yeah. my opinion and I, I enjoy that and like I said I think both of them are good uh, I enjoy both, and I can't wait for it. I honestly cannot wait to see all these guys and if on they, screen. Absolutely, and if they have uh, Aquaman be this character that did, that was outcast for some reason, obviously they'll have to change why in the movies, but if he was outcast and he had to fight his way to, to the throne, he's going to be a darker, more gritty guy. Yeah. I just don't think you get to be happy-go-lucky having had to fight your way back into your culture right. and back to your birthright of being being ruler. I just don't think you get to be happy go lucky. You well, know? no, even even uh, Throne of Atlantis. I mean, his mom gets killed. Right. Uh, his dad just died. Right. I mean, granted, he can somewhat remember his mom. He wasn't obviously close to her because she had to leave. Sure. But still, his mom just got killed and his dad just died. I mean, but yet he was still a little happier, although. Lately. He was like he was more um, not not necessarily happy, Happier, but, but he, he was, was more accepting, I guess. Yeah, he was he was more like cool with it. He was like, all right, this is the next thing is like a responsibility thing that I have to right. take over, and he, it almost felt like he didn't have time to grieve. Sure, absolutely. whereas I presume again that this this Aquaman will have had time to grieve for his parents. I think so too. Who yeah. will likely be dead by now? Or clearly. We might not be seeing origin stories for everybody, so he might have already gone through that. You know. What I'm yeah, that's saying? what I'm like, saying. He's, he's had that time. He's had that time to grieve, but at that same time, he's you know he's made his fight to the throne. He's had time to grieve for his dead family. Right. He's the last one, and he's you know ruling. You know, you watch any movie that has to do anything with with royalty and kings and rulers and queens. The crown is heavy. Like the crown is heavy because you have so many responsibilities. Very few kings and queens throughout history have had time to just like be happy. Right. <laughs> like, I know, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's, there's a lot of a lot of politics, a lot of garbage, and a lot of war. And if they do stick with, I mean, depending, like I said, I don't think we're going to see a lot of this in the ten, five to ten minutes we're going to see Aquaman in this next movie. But I think when they do an Aquaman movie, and I'm sure, I, th I think they are. I think I'm that was certain. I think that's one of the biggest reasons why they're doing this look, so it can I look think, like I think, yeah, it, I think it was on the list, yeah, in its own movie. Uh, but once we see that Aquaman movie, I'm, I'm guaranteeing we're going to see his brother. Um, which is Ocean Master right. trying to you know win back the throne and causing you know infighting and a civil war in Atlantis. So all this stuff is bound to happen. Absolutely, and it, as it does in in uh, in, in in monarchy. Yeah. So no, absolutely, I, I'm excited for it. That was just really all I wanted to talk about. I'm happy with it. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I like the look. I love the it. tattoos. I think yep. it's cool because it reflects the. The, the armor piece that he's got, which I found out they did because he has a tattoo he already that has a looks tattoo, like yes. that. So yeah. they just patterned that up, which I thought was really cool. Yep. It also kind of gives him a scaled look, also kind of an armor look yeah. on both sides. So I think it's going to be really cool overall. I, I think really... they did a great job. I don't, you know what, it's Zack Snyder. This guy visually has done amazing work, plus he yeah. seems to have a really good... Uh, 
uh, costume design uh, crew behind him. Mm -hmm. So I think they did a good job, and I think it's going to fit in this universe very well. And I Absolutely. Don't, I think people just need I, to... Uh, I'm just waiting. They finally actually just released a picture of the actual Ben Affleck Batman suit. Um, it's very gray. I mean, very much like the, yeah, the yeah, Dark Knight absolutely. Returns. The Dark Knight Returns. And that's, I mean, they movie. said they were taken away from that. They're not going full story with Dark Knight sure. Returns, but they are definitely taking away some of the things from there. He is a old and... and He's and old, and if, now, if you saw some of the behind the, the like shooting uh, photos, he's he's gray. Like yeah, he's Ben Affleck, super gray, like huge bulked out. He was he bulked out really wide, uh, which reflects that bat the, the aged Batman look. Yep. And then he's gray, and he's gonna be that. Not necessarily. I think he's probably gonna be that bitter old Frank Miller Batman. <laughs> or not maybe to that huge extent, but definitely we'll sure. see some of that in there. And it, it would sure. make sense. So like I said, everything just seems to be fitting good. I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see more releases. Uh, I'm hoping a, a teaser. Oh, definitely Cyborg. I, I can't Cyborg. wait to see how they're going to do that. That'll be exciting. I want Cyborg. They are. I mean, they've, they've cast Flash. He's. I don't know if he's going to be in it, but they've cast Flash. Ooh, you know what? I, I'm hoping they do Jon Stewart for... Uh, I really want John Stewart for Green Lantern. Now they're talking about, and you're not gonna like this, but they're talking about picking one of the female lanterns. Female lantern? Yeah. I mean, as long as they're not saying Hell Jordan's a female. No, 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 I'm no. cool with it. I don't, no, no, no. I mean, it's, that's... Um, oh, I forget her name, but she was. Uh, she kind of was a little nuts. Okay. Uh, but she was another. She was a lantern. Uh, yeah, she was. Okay. A lantern. I mean, yeah, if that's the case, I'm perfectly fine with that. Only issues I have is when they start changing what original characters were. Right. So if we see John Stewart, awesome. If not, we see. I a really want female. John Stewart because I think they're going to need someone because John Stewart has that military background. I think they're, they're going to need someone to kind of whip them into shape. Right. Um, so I think John Stewart will be that guy. I think he would be the best guy for that. Right. No, absolutely. So yeah, I can't I can't wait. I definitely want to see I mean, I'm not too worried about John Stewart or, you know, Green Lantern costume because we, we saw a decent costume in the Green Lantern movie, even though it wasn't a great movie. Yeah. Uh we still saw a Green Lantern costume which could very it well was pretty work. solid. Yeah. It was a I, solid I didn't costume. really have any problems with the yeah, costume. I, didn't have... I thought it was kinda of weird that it was Kind of alive, like but I mean, if you think kind of about it, I mean, it's the whole thing is about the what ring. they visualize yeah, the ring, and stuff so. like that. So it's it works. I'm fine with that. Sure. You know, we've seen uh, Superman, which I enjoyed Superman's costume and Man of Steel. And they've Steel. changed it. it was they've great. Changed and they've changed bit. it a little bit around. Obviously, we've now seen Aquaman, which looks great in my opinion. So I and can't Wonder wait to Woman see. Looks pretty awesome. I so. can't wait to see what they do with Cyborg. Cyborg yeah, Wonder Woman. I I mean. I like the Wonder Woman costume. I think it's. I think I think, I think it's, it's perfect. Work. I still think she's a little slim for an she's Amazon. She's a little slim. She's um, a little slim. But I mean, I, it is what opinion, it is. It's, yeah, it's it is done. What it like is. it's done. Yeah. Like I can't even know. I know she's anymore. been working on bulking up. She, and, and she did. She, she definitely bulked up right. from, from like before the filming yeah. to what they did film. Yeah, absolutely. She definitely bulked up, but it's one of those it's things still, that still she needs to be. I mean, it's an when Amazon. I think when I think Amazon, I just You're think thinking like a pow, like a huge powerful woman. Yeah, like and, um, Gina. Gina, what's her name? Gina, the the MMA fighter that's also now an actress. Sure, like I, that's that's yeah. what you're thinking. You know, you you want somebody that has more of a bulk because she's an Amazon. Yeah, that would make sense. So. But overall, I'm excited. It's Zack yeah. Snyder. I, Should be good. I, I enjoyed Man of Steel. Yeah. So. Should be fun. That's it. All right. Yeah. Nothing else. You got to close it. One close it out. I started it. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate it. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you uh, have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you check out T3GTech.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. As always, I have been Cerebro. Full throttle. For T3G, signing off.